ministers and secretaries of agriculture of 14 Caribbean countries related some of the dramatic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic in the region, listed new challenges in strengthening food production, and emphasized the support that the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, IICA, has provided in the campaign against food and nutritional insecurity in 2020. It will go down in history as a year that had crippled tourism, the engine of Caribbean economy. The high-level authorities were participating in IICA's virtual 2020 Regional Accountability Seminar, which gave an overview of the hemispheric organization's action to support the Caribbean productive sector. Announcements were also made about new initiatives, and the agricultural authorities held a frank discussion about difficulties stemming from COVID-19, indicating that the technical assistance received has been invaluable. Saboto Cesar Minister of Agriculture of St. Vincent and the Grenadines said he hopes that the various islands do not adopt an individualistic approach, but instead discuss collaborations that will allow them all to advance as a region. The IICA Director General Manuel Otoro spoke of the commitments of the Hemispheric Organization with respect to the countries of the Caribbean, vowing to continue supporting the advancement of the local rural sector. He mentioned aspects such as maintaining the infrastructure of the 14 offices, providing adequate human and financial resources to implement the strategies deployed in the Caribbean, including a special fund to support the region. He promised that the regional body would continue supporting proposals and securing external funding to address agricultural and rural development issues. Otoro also stressed the importance of supporting the post-COVID-19 renewal and positioning of the agriculture and rural sector of the Caribbean. The pandemic has had a tangible effect on the economy of the Caribbean. Fidel Grant, Minister of Agriculture of Dominica, noted that the region has seen a drop in export, loss of jobs, and the closure of hotels. Countries in the region experienced a decline in their gross domestic product by as much as 10% in some cases, and agricultural production is considered to be essential to turning the tide. Elvis Moreen, Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture of Grenada, told his regional colleagues about the establishment of farm market around the island to allow persons to access food. According to him, IICA was fundamental in helping us to develop work plans. According to the ministers, COVID-19 has highlighted challenges in the Caribbean that require urgent attention, such as addressing the effects of climate change. In closing, Otoro remarked that, and I quote, we have designated the Caribbean as a priority region, given its vulnerability to climate change. We are introducing more and more actions in keeping with our strategies and priorities for the region. For GBN News, I am Rina Pear reporting.